Where am I? What's happened to your flat? It's all changed. Well, of course, dear. It's all Michael's work, you know. Michael's worked ever so hard on it. Well, you know what he's like once he gets started on something. He won't give up until it's exactly the way he planned it. As a matter of fact, I didn't finish the whole thing until the day before yesterday. Nobody's seen it yet. So this is an occasion, old boy. We're having a little private view in here tonight. Where did you find all this stuff? It wasn't easy, you know. Well, I did have an in here and there, a few antique dealers, some art collectors, that sort of thing. But of course, I had to make some new contacts as well. The thing is, I must never give up. Not even when one doesn't find straight away precisely what one's looking for. Fabulous the way he's done it up, isn't it? Mm. Mind you, I didn't really think it was going to turn out quite so well. The point is, if you want to give your place a real face, it's no good just being fond of antiques. You've got to know where to find them and to have that special sense of knowing exactly how to present them in your house. To know how to mix them with modern furniture, for example, and so on. Well, as it's turned out, Michael's done all right, hasn't he? It's fabulous, isn't it? Not a slipper. Well, welcome to our new home. Mm. We've missed you, Ferdinand, you know. I kept wondering, I mean, when I was working on this place, what's he going to say when it's all done up and he walks in, mm. looks around and <laughs> sees all these things? Well, cheers. 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 Of course, if Vera hadn't supported me, I'm sure it would never have turned out as well as this. Nothing. Besides, it wasn't just a question of support and understanding. She actually helped, you know. Mm. For example... That yeah. Turkish yatagan. Well, what do you say about it? That's very, very nice. How does it fit in with the rest? Oh, very, very well. There you are, you see. You know that Vera actually found that all by herself. Mm. She even hung it over there. <laughs> and all the time she had no idea I was looking for something just like that. Well, what do you say? Amazing, isn't it? Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> oh, good gracious. What are we standing about for? Mm. Why don't we all sit down? Ferdinand. What's that? Fabulous, isn't it? <laughs> it looks like a confessional. It is a confessional. It is a confessional, good Lord. <laughs> Where did you find it? It was a real stroke of luck, you know. Well, I happened to hear there was an old disused church to be scrapped, so naturally I took off at once and drove straight down there. There you see the result. Managed to get it from the sacristan for only 300. Is that all? Mm, not bad, eh? It's genuine Baroque. But, what are you going to do with it? <laughs> what do you mean, what are we going to do with it? Don't you like it? Yes, yes, it's, it's, it's all right. But it's a marvellous object, isn't it? We love it, don't we, darling? Well, of course. I mean, it's fabulous workmanship. Michael got a real bargain there, don't you think? What do you think of the dining room? That's, that's cosy. Just plain, simple country style. You know what gives me the greatest pleasure of all? Uh, no, no, what? <laughs> now, Gothic Madonna. The trouble was, I had to find one that would fit exactly into that niche. And as luck would have it, of course, I kept on finding Madonnas that were either too tall or too short. You couldn't have adjusted the niche. Well, that was precisely what I didn't want to do. I think only in this way the whole ensemble has the right dimensions. Hmm? Well, that's the way he is. Instead of adjusting the knee, she ran his feet off, running about. Well, what about you, then? When are you two going to have a go at it? At, at, at what? Your flat, of course. Oh, I don't know. About time you did something with it, old boy. You don't want to go on living in that messy halfway house of yours forever. Well, I really don't seem to notice it anymore. If you don't feel up to it, well, why doesn't Eva have a go? After all, she's got plenty of time. Yes, I think it'd actually do her good doing something like this. Put her back on her feet again. We'll do our best to help her if she doesn't know how to go about it. Oh, Michael's a bit of an expert now, you know. He'd be happy to advise her. 
tell her where to go, how to begin, what things to look for. Good gracious. I'll be glad to let her know what's available and where, who the dealers are she ought to see. Mm, Ferdinand's right. It's a good idea. Why don't you just hand it over to Eva? Now, Eva's not very good at this sort of thing. Yes, we know that, dear, but perhaps you could raise a little interest in her. You've got to do something about that flat of yours, Danny. You see, Michael and I believe that a man's life is determined by his immediate surroundings. If you have <laughs> what we call a place with a face, sooner or later, whether you like it or not, your whole life takes on a definite face sort of new dimension, new rhythm, new content, new order. Am I right, darling? She's right, old boy. You see, same way a man should care about what he eats, he ought to mind what he happens to eat it with and what he eats it off, what he wipes himself with, what he puts on, what he washes himself in, what he sleeps in, and so on. Point is, once you start one thing, you soon find you must start another, and that will lead you to something else again. And so, a sort of concatenation of things begins to form. And when you go on this way, it simply means you're just somehow raising your life onto a higher cultural level. You're acquiring a deeper inner harmony, and all this is bound in the end to affect your relationship with others. Am I right, darling? Oh, he's right, Ferdinand. If you two began to care more about the way you live, I'm sure you'd get on much better. But we get on all right. Oh, come off you, dear. Really, we do. Oh, well, I realize you'd rather not talk about it, but Michael and I have been discussing you two a lot lately. We've been thinking about you a great deal, and frankly, we're a bit worried about the way you live. It's kindly meant, oh boy. It's in your own interest. Oh, remember, you're our best friend. We're both very fond of you, and we do hope that somehow or other it all gets sorted out for you at last. <laughs> but what's there to be sorted out? <laughs> Never mind. Shall I light the fire? Oh, not on my account. How about some music, then? Oh, yes, Michael brought back a lot of new records from the States, you see. Ah. As a matter of fact, we were just playing the latest pop hit when you rang. Would you like to hear it? Uh, a bit later, perhaps. <laughs> 